Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World on DT. So, I actually queued up an archaeologist in Nimrod because I see some Inca archaeologists heading west. I don't want them to steal all of my antiquity sites. And while antiquity sites are not exactly a huge priority, I want to get at least some of them. I'm also thinking about using Great General right here near Zanzibar to get this uranium. I don't need uranium for anything specific, but having some would definitely help. So where's my actual closest great general? There he is, so I might use this guy. I should be able to start a citadel right here, that's next to my border. So I think I'm going to do it. I'm still going to send my units east, even if I don't end up attacking the Romans, I want to have that option available. So if I decide to do it later, I want to have my units ready and waiting. Without having to move them all across the entire Pangea, after I decide. So that's what I'm going to do, but other than that I am focusing on actually winning this game now. So I'll get satellites in 14 turns, I'm building a polo program in my capital. If I don't screw up, this game should be in the bag. But I need to be careful still, because Romans... While they are not ahead, their science rate is actually quite impressive, and they do have rationalism. So that's one of the reasons why I want to move my units east. If Romans actually manage to get ahead, I might have to attack their cities. And I'm not going to need most of these units around here for anything specific. It's not like England is going to attack me. They are down to one city and that city is already being attacked. From the looks of it, it's losing health. I think it's being attacked by Inca. And Inca won't really attack me, I have too many positive modifiers with them. Oh nice, I got mobile sum for free, that's actually kind of good. Right, so let's start the citadel over here. I will piece off Pachacuti a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yes, let's do it. So yeah, I did piece him off a bit, but I have so many positive modifiers that it shouldn't really matter all that much. Can I get some shade? I don't think he's going to buy my iron. Yeah, I checked that a while ago. Oh yeah, he will actually buy my horses. So that should be worth 270 gold. Alright, that's good. I, I'm glad I checked. So now I just need to send a worker here to actually hook up the uranium. This is a really good deposit because it has 4 units of uranium. That's pretty damn good actually. I don't like these archaeologists heading west. But not much I can do about it. Other than waiting for my archaeologists. I have some other archaeologists queued up in some of my other cities. In Hastings for example. I have at least 4... Antiquity sites in my territory. There's one near Nimrod. There are two near my capital. There's another one down here. So I want to grab most of them, preferably. This one is actually in range of Hastings, so I can grab extra culture from that. Anyway, let's keep moving. Pachacuti is actually quite strong in this game. I need to be careful. While I think it's fairly unlikely that he's going to attack me, I can't completely rule out that possibility. He might go crazy mode and decide to do it anyway. So I'm going to keep some basic defenses in my territory, just in case, even if it's very unlikely. He has a lot of bombers. Yeah, now he's going to move them back and forth between his cities. It's really annoying. And they are going to do this even with quick movement turned on. Which is very irritating. I can't speed this up. Anyway. Come on. Yeah, if he keeps doing it constantly, I might just have to edit the video a little bit, because this will get really annoying after 40 turns. I don't mind waiting for this once or twice, but it just get, it gets irritating after a while. And another great scientist, so I am almost done with satellites now, with this great scientist. Five more turns. I'll have to wait for my great engineer before I get Hubble telescope, but that's okay. I don't think anyone else has satellites in this game, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Right, I think I'm going to use some caravans to add production in Asur. So, I'm not adding any production in Asur right now. Right, let's do it. I need to speed up the Apollo program, or well, I want to speed it up. I don't need to do it. 
Let's keep moving. Yeah, Pachacuti pretty much dominated the map here. At least I can get through here. Kind of easily. But it's going to be annoying. Moving all of my units through his territory. If I decide to take one of the Roman cities, it should be quite easy to do so. I can always get Pachacuti to attack Romans once he's done with Elizabeth. And I'm probably going to do this. I could just pay him a bit to attack Romans without declaring war myself. That's probably the best. I'm building a castle in London after Ironworks. Actually, no, I didn't queue it up, but I will build a castle in London. I need London to have very high defense, because in case I declare war on Romans, London is the only coastal city I got. So the Roman fleet would probably appear in this area and attack London. But archaeology is first. I guess I can queue up that castle right away. Oh yeah, it is queued up. I was looking at another city. Yeah, there's a bug that makes another city pop up when you click in the middle of the AI turn. But as you can see, I got a castle queued up in London. Right, let's keep moving then. This is not going to be super exciting. And my worker... I don't think I can do anything with my worker anymore. Not really, no. I guess he can just... Oh, that's because I moved my caravan. He was in Hastings already. So, plus 6 production in Asor. That's not a lot of production, but every little bit helps. So, 17 turns for Apollo program. And wow, Pachacuti has a lot of units. I wouldn't want to go to war with Pachacuti. Not with all of this artillery here. Especially once he gets rocketry. Yeah, it's hard to move through here with all of these units blocking the way. It's going to be annoying. Right. I could totally do a quick war with Romans and take one of these cities. I was thinking about the city-state. Yeah, it's a bit risky that he's going to attack me in London with his fleet. But if I prepare properly, I might be able to weaken him a little bit. As I said, it's not necessary. I can still win the game without going to war, but I don't want to take any risks. And if you look at Info Addict, his science rate is actually quite impressive right now. Yep. My tech rate is still better because he has 19 cities and I only have 8, but he does have rationalism, so his science rate will improve. If he had fewer cities, he would actually be a threat. The problem with the AI right now is that the AI spams some really worthless cities. I don't see any totally worthless cities right here, but he has 19, so I can't see at least a few. And these cities that he started on my coast, on the west side of the Pangaea were completely useless. Especially this one. This is mostly desert. So he only started this city to grab the oil and incense. But starting a small city this late into the game is really counterproductive. I know this will get changed in the fall patch. Because now the AI will not start completely worthless cities after the fall patch. Or at least the fertility of the area needs to be higher for the AI to consider starting a city. That's one of the changes in the fall patch. It's currently in the beta, so this game, if you're watching it in the future, this was before the fall patch. One of my deals ended. Oh yeah, I got enough faith to get something, what? Oh, I can get another great Santis? No, I can't, but I can just automate it. I might get one more great Santis for faith. Actually, no, that's kind of unlikely. Satellites are almost done. I still need to wait a little bit longer for my Great Engineer. I will get one more Great Santis before the Great Engineer, which will delay him a little bit. But as I said, I'm the first civilization to satellites. So I don't need to rush the Hubble Space Telescope. And it's not worth delaying my Great speciali uh, my great Scientist by unassigning the Specialist just to speed up that Engineer. Roman Koi in Yerevan, that's annoying. Yeah, that's a cultured city. I do have a spy in there. 49%. Yeah, that's a bit low. He's 36 ahead of me. Probably not worth wasting my gold for that. So, I'm almost next to Roman cities already. That was fast. 
I'll just chill around here and wait. I don't even need open borders with Pachakuti. I could use the city-state territory somewhere around here. Like Monaco, for example. I'm not allied with Quebec City anymore, apparently. Seriously? Who stole it? Yeah, Pachakuti did. Mine. Right. So as I said, this is not going to be super exciting. And now I can grab the uranium. I might build some nukes. Just to scare the AI a little bit. One nuke is enough to scare the AI and make them afraid of you. So I might do that if I have the time. The spaceship is obviously the priority here. Then yeah, Romans are at war with Elizabeth, I forgot about that. So their fleet is already here. Declaring war on Romans right now would not be very smart with all these battleships near London. But I'm not doing it. At least not right now. Is Pachakuti still at war with Elizabeth? If he's not, I'll ask him to declare war on Romans. No, he's... Yes, he is. So I'll wait with that. Haha, <laughs> he failed. Nice try. Oh, really? Wow. They are really being annoying right now, so maybe I will try to kick them out. 50% chance, 27% chance. Yeah, that's a bit too low for my taste. Hmm. It's tempting. I want to stay allied with Kabul. But I don't want to lose all of my influence. Right, first archaeologist is done. So I'll just start a landmark here. So let's do that. Hmm, I'm considering trying to grab one of these city-states. Alright, let's try. 50% chance? Nice. That was a risky maneuver. I won't be doing that with 27% though. But I'm glad I kept Kabul. That's a cultured city, I think. And I can definitely use extra cultures still. Speaking of extra culture, I need 8 more turns for another tenet. I'm not sure what I'm going to grab just yet, but I got time to decide. Oh yeah, renew declaration of friendship, obviously. So I only got two negative modifiers with him, still. If I get him to attack Romans, that should keep him busy enough for the rest of this game. Oh really? Did the Chinese just start two crappy cities right next to my border? Wow. They are being annoying. I could get rid of these cities, but that's a waste of my time, honestly. I'm not going to bother doing that. Get over it. What? Dude! I restored you to life and you're complaining to me? Seriously? How about you shut up? Ironworks construction is almost done. Now and I got satellites. For tomorrow. And I got some extra happiness from na Natural Wonders. Always nice to see the entire map. And yeah, the Romans have some really crappy cities over here, like this one. They started this city purely to grab the natural wonder, quite obviously. This city is not exactly great either, especially with the Chinese border and with city-state border. This city is near the desert. Yeah, they spammed a lot of cities, but yeah, these cities like this. So after the patch, after the fall patch, cities like this should not happen anymore. Because these cities are hurting him more than they help. These four cities alone increase his technology cost by 20%. And there's no way they bring enough science to justify it. Right. Research. So now I need to get advanced ballistics, I guess. Then either particle physics or nanotechnology. I might be able to steal some of these cheap technologies. That might be worth it. I could send one spy to Rome. I'm not sure if he'll steal anything, but it's always worth a try. Where's Rome? There it is. So I'm going to try. It's always worth a try. I'm keeping my most experienced spy in my capital, just to prevent others from stealing technologies from me. I wouldn't want that to happen. I actually killed several spies already. Oh yeah, my peace treaty ended, but I'm not going to declare another war on Elizabeth. 
I got better things to do. She's already crippled to the point where she can't really do anything in this game. So here I am. The Romans might ask me to declare war. So I'll back up a little bit. But on the other hand, I don't really care about backstabbing people in this game anymore. This game will be done in, I don't know, 50, 100 turns? It should be done before turn 500, most likely. But we'll see. The spaceship construction will take longer on epic speed, obviously. And research takes longer too. 13 more turns for Apollo program. Yeah, he's still moving with all of these bombers. What? Whatever you say. I don't care about what you think. China wants to declare war on Elizabeth. You go do that yourself then. I'm busy. Look at all the territory Pachakudi took in this game. He's quite big. But he's a little bit behind in terms of technologies. Especially with all of these cities and with his military focus. So let's have a look. Yeah, I'm three technologies ahead of Romans. And seven technologies ahead of Pachakuti. So Pachakuti is not a threat in this game. Romans probably aren't a threat either. Okay, this was a caravan that was adding production in Nineveh. I'll actually use it to add production in Asur now. So let's move that to Nimrod. And right, I'm going to back up just a little bit. And just chill around here in case I decide to attack Romans in the future. If I decide to do it, this is more than enough to take both of these cities, probably. And I even have mobile SAM, so... And free rocket artillery. So that won't be hard at all. And I brought two great generals, just in case I lose one or something like that. I just need to keep open borders with Pachakuti, but that won't be a problem either. He did not steal any of my antiquity sites yet. He's just grabbing his own antiquity site, I think. That is a worker, but he had some archaeologists around here. I don't see them anymore. What is this great general doing here? Oh yeah, I forgot he's still at war with England. Right. The Romans are actually taking quite a lot of damage on that battleship. How are the city states doing? Great, I lost Quebec City again. Hmm. 32, 171. I need to wait to rig elections, really. 27% is too low. I could move my spy from Kabul, maybe. Let's see, 32 in Quebec City. Yeah, I think I'm going to move my spy from Kabul. Let's have a look. How much influence do I have here? 107. Alright, I'll move him to Quebec City then. To steal that from the Romans. Where is it? Should be somewhere here. There we go. Alright, factory is done in my smallest city. Nice. What can I get here? I don't really need more happiness. Stable, only one cattle in range. So probably not worth it. Do I have a university in here? Yes, I do. So, I could just grab a bank, but I'm only making 8 gold in here. Or I can get walls, just in case something funny happens later in the game. So you stay here, fortify. I might still attack Romans later in the game, just because I can, for kicks. But I'll only do that once I secure my victory. I need to be 100% sure that I am going to win, and then I'll attack them. And I need to fortify London a little bit more. I'm almost done with the castle. London will have massive defense. And I don't really need Circus Maximus in here anymore. What else can I get in London? I can't really improve my production here anymore. Amphitheater? I don't really need Amphitheater. I don't really need Stadium either. Well, I suppose it's kind of useful with all of these wonders in here. I mean, not Stadium, the hotel. So, like this. Looks good to me. I don't really need Akedoct. It's not going to grow anytime soon. So this looks fine. With the castle, London should have something like 130 defense or combat strength. 
if I add an artillery unit or two or rocket artillery, Romans won't be able to do anything if I declare war and they bring their battleships here. This is really the only city the Romans could possibly threaten. That's because this London is my only coastal city in the game. Well, this one is also a coastal city, but I don't think the Romans would bring battleship from the north. They do have a few over here. But I can fortify this one too, it's not a problem. Still, I'm more worried about London than about Tenochtitlan. But let's queue up a castle. Oh, I already have a castle in here, apparently. Yep, I do. Probably not worth building arsenal. That's 10 turns. Would be better just using it for some military production. Right, and my entire army is already here. So they can just chill. What? Was that my city-state? No, I don't think so. I just lost a lot of influence. Was it my city-state? I still got 5. 35 in Quebec City. Well, we'll see. I'll try to grab Quebec City again. Okay, nice. So, create a landmark. That should give me some nice culture. Very nice. That's plus 9 culture from that tile. Plus 11 even. Nice. That was definitely worth it. Oh, right. That's the international games vote. But it's not coming up just yet. So that was a bit random. Why did he tell me about that now? When I proposed that 12 turns ago or something like that. That makes no sense. Another archaeologist is almost done. What are all these units doing over here? Is he moving through to attack Nottingham or something? I need some defenses around here. Just in case Pachacuti goes crazy mode. But I do have open borders with him. So I don't think he will. Another great artist. Can't steal from Rome. But he is constructing Apollo program. So he is working on Apollo program, as you can clearly see yourself. I don't think he's going to beat me, but this is the entire reason why I'm thinking about attacking him. Just to slow down his progress. And I need to give Pachacuti something to do, so let's see. I'm going to ask Pachacuti to declare war on Romans, just to give him something to do. No, he's not willing to do it, interesting. Hmm. Okay. That changes things a little bit. So, is he still at war with Elizabeth? Let's check that. Yes, he is. So that explains all of these units around here. But that's a bit odd that he's not willing to attack Romans. That might be because he's focusing on Elizabeth. That could be an explanation. Right, another archaeologist. I can't move here right now. But if this unit moves out of the way, I'll grab this side. I can just buy that tile? No, I can't. Oh yeah, this is out of range of Hastings, so I would have to grab an artifact from this one. I think I prefer getting extra culture first. So let's grab one of these. This is close enough? No, it's not. This is close enough. So, production. What now? Yeah, windmill, that makes sense. Eight more turns for the Apollo program. How's the great engineer doing? I need to start Hubble Space Telescope before I get that great engineer. 17 turns. And yeah, that will be delayed a little bit because of the great scientist. So maybe I should start building that without waiting. I could do it in London, maybe, after the hotel. 26 turns. But that's not worth waiting 26 turns for. Right, anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.